Sadaqallahu'l-Azim, verily Allah has spoken the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is traditional for us to open our gatherings with a recital of portions from the Holy Quran. The duty tonight was performed by 13-year-old Ihsan Talib of Lansdowne. MashaAllah, I'm sure you will agree with me. The rendering was beautiful. We welcome one and all of you here 
tonight in retreat to a lecture by Brother Ahmad Didat of Durban. Ahmad Didat is well known for this type of lectures and we are indeed fortunate to have the opportunity during these two weeks, this week and next, to have him with us so soon after a visit he paid on a lecturing tour to the Arab countries. Our lecture tonight is on Muhammad, peace be upon him, the greatest. It follows on Monday's lecture which was in Weinberg, on what the Bible says about Muhammad. We then went on to Rocklands in Mitchell's Plain last night, where the topic was Muhammad, peace be upon him, the natural successor to Christ. We invite you to all the other lectures which will take place tomorrow night, Friday, Saturday, Monday and Tuesday in various other centers which include Lansdowne, the City Hall in Cape Town, Athlone Civic Center, and Kensington. There will be freedom for you if you wish to bring tape recorders with and even video cameras if the authorities at the hall allow you to do that. But from our side, there is no copyrights on it. You're free to make your own copies. We have to clear the hall at about half past ten. After the lecture tonight, you are free to come up to the microphone and put questions to the speaker. After the lecture, I will again give you an indication and an idea as to how we would like you to conduct the question time. I give to you now Brother Ahmad Didat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلناك إلا كافة للناس بشيرا ونذيرا ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون صدق الله صدق الله العظيم Mr. Chairman Brothers and Sisters I have read to you a verse from Surah Safa, verse number 28. And as I had explained to you previously, how to find this chapter and this verse from the Holy Quran that is available to you from here, as our chairman had announced again and again, seven rands fifty each or two for ten rands. It's a bargain of a lifetime, I assure you. Two thousand pages for five rands each if you buy two. But now, at the end of this volume is a very comprehensive index. And if you open that index under S, you'll find Safa. It will be in italics. Every surah, name of the surah, under whatever the name, under that letter, alph alphabet, you'll find it in italics is the name of the surah. And it'll tell you is surah Saba is 34. So you look for chapter 34, Surah is chapter, and look for verse 28, and you'll find this verse I have just read to you. The meaning of that is, Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةَ لِلنَّاسِ said, we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except for the whole of mankind. كَافَةَ لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا as a giver of glad tidings, and as a warner, but the bulk of mankind, they still do not know. That is the meaning of the verse I have read to you. With regards to the subject, Muhammad, وسلم, the greatest, you see, it is very easy for one to elevate, to praise his hero, 
his saint, his imam, his prophet, very easy to idolize our great men, very easy. And we all have a tendency to do that, whether Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jew. That whom do you esteem to be the greatest person? So each will give his hero according to his knowledge and experience. I had an occasion to take a Portuguese couple around the mosque in Durban. I happened to be one of the guides to the Juma Masjid Durban and it attracts a lot of visitors. So we take them around, explain to them what goes on and we give them free literature. But talking to this Portuguese, 